So track number nine on Mino's To Infinity album is called Losing You. And this is a live on a channel called Out Now. And hopefully this doesn't get blocked. But if it does, we're going to use the recorded version for when we break down the lyrics. Let's dive. なんなばね俺グリーンとかバトゥディワージンアンドミーマイドバナソキヨダウォジョネガゴノナジロンサントリーアワナセブンウィスキーチュゲレガラノンドシギプスキーナイゲルフトクニャドレメモフィストゴム
Ooh, did you hear, like in the background for the ad libs, you heard the singing again, losing you. It sounded like, it sounded like multiple minos. Yeah. Oh, you know what I mean? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, the way that he was like kind of monotone singing at the end made it more emotional. Mm hmm Like like as if he's like now I'm numb. Like Yeah, right, like his emotions were spent by the end of the song. Ah Story. Wow. That was dope. I really liked how unique that song was. You know, with the piano and the fast rap. Like I said, that's a combination that you don't get very often. The transition from him rapping into singing. Very impressive, man. And I thought the hook was good. Even though it was repetitive, you know, it had the descending delivery. Losing you, losing you, losing you. I thought that was pretty cool, man. Kind of catchy. Yeah. And I feel like the, you know, the bars are probably so good that he doesn't really need much of a chorus, you know? Right. The chorus is just there to let you know, like. Right. How he feels. It's like, oh, I'm losing you. But I am super excited, and so is Chester. <laughs> check out these bars, so. Let's check them out, Chesty. Take a nana bane or goody, to come to the watching or to me. My door when I suck your dog with your nigga gonna not get on Sunday. When I sip in whiskey, chew get a get an on this kid's key. Now get up at the gun at the memories, chum cheek, chew with cheek, or when they go when I'm gonna need that key. Keep on what someone cared, I give me a chip. Goodness. I just knew that the, the lyrics are going to be so good. Goodness, the flow switch. Like, and his rhyme scheme is set up so well for that for that flow to work. Ugh. That's so nasty, bro. He's drinking to erase the pain. Yeah. So, so far, he's saying he's drinking to erase the pain and forget about memories. And, um... But that's not what he wanted, so... Is he saying, like... I don't want to forget these memories, but they're just too painful. Yeah. He said he's trying to erase them bit by bit, even though that's not what I wanted, actually. So he actually doesn't want to erase the memories. So it's like, he's conflicted, you know? It's like, he wants to run away from these memories, but he still wants them because he's still in love. Mm -hmm. And in the beginning of the song, he's talking about how his shadows cast over his face, and it's obvious, so it's like he's saying he looks obviously sad. Mm-hmm. But man, the way he delivers this is so cool. When I sip in whiskey, you get a get a now on this kid's key. Now get up at the gun at the memories, chum cheek, chum cheek. Oh, when I go, girl, when I'm gonna need that key. Keep on going, I'm gonna get you to the moon and shower. I got to go, can they go to not a little gun and get she is super net. Got to murder my book at Tungu, a pie tongue, Kiyogi Hurine. I'm gonna do that. She's not good in a second. I heard it and also chamon again. It's a gina bar. No guy, man, I go shield. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. I'm about to get emotional. Damn, dude. Unbearable pain is pleasure. Heavy tears are like a shower. But forgetting all about you makes me sad for no reason. So time's moving on and he's drinking. And he's losing those memories. So losing you isn't only about how he lost her. It's also about how he's losing the memories of her. The memories of her, right. Faded memories of a time of repeated sentences, a time of hurt. So if you think about a breakup, you know, a lot of times if someone's, you know, pleading with someone that they want to be with them, there'll be a lot of repeated sentences. Um, I go and picture you again. The colors are faint. I guess I'm forgetting without even you knowing. Mm. 
It sounds like he hasn't spoken up and told her that he misses her, he still wants to be with her. Right. So that's what's getting to him, too, is like, I'm not saying anything, you don't know what I'm feeling, and the memory of you is fading it's away. Fading. I can't even remember what you look like anymore right. or what the you feel like. the colors are faint. I like the way you said that. Mm -hmm. Dang. Uh, I don't have an excuse to ache for you. Time heals all wounds. Use that as a reason to let things run its course without noticing that it was all disappearing until now. Wait, no, no. Uh, so you're saying, like, now I realize I don't want to lose all the memories. It's like He's, like, saying time heals all wounds because the memories fade away. And he's saying, like, I don't want that to happen now. That is deep. That is deep. Like, he, he's saying that he'd rather go through the pain of, of like, loving her than, than forget about her and not feel that pain. You know what I mean? Yeah, and, and he's saying, like, the only memory that I can really remember is a hateful memory. It's a memory that I, I don't want to just have that memory of you. I'm losing all the good memories of you. and all, The only one I can remember is the bad one. But he's still fond of those memories because she's in them. It's a very interesting perspective on a breakup and a past relationship. Super dope. You know, I feel like people out there, there's definitely people out there that can relate to this. He might be saying, like, this is about multiple girls. <laughs> Memories of them that tortured me. Yeah. I mean, that's not funny, but... <laughs> <laughs> it is pretty funny. I mean, <clears throat> Minnow's keeping it consistent that he's... <laughs> he's, a, <laughs> he's a player, man. He, he's a... <laughs> Heartbreaker. I don't know how the fuck to say it. He's a Casanova. He's, he's a... <laughs> he's that guy. <clears throat> he's that guy. That's, that's definitely a good way to put it. He's that guy. He's a whore bag. <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> I'm losing you, losing you, losing you, losing you, I'm losing. He knows he's ugly. Got you doesn't people what are suckly. Made by my dash and I get judging the million only jig on gong hard. That's my magic handy. Good gun we are met. He's rapping so fast, the lines was just like, Yeah. It was hard to keep up. He's saying but right here that it's there was multiple. plenty of women. Yeah. Yeah, and it didn't make him feel good. Yeah, making plenty of new friends, had a good time, but when it's all over, I can't remember their names. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be different than the rest. I wanted to look like I was doing well. I wanted you to notice. So, yeah, he's had a, he's had, uh, a lot of girls come and go, but he's saying, like, he wanted... This one, one of particular them to stay. girl to notice that he was doing well <clears throat> and get her jealous. So he, he's saying he he's basically saying he ruined that. Yeah. By, you know, having by, multiple women right and, and by, not taking them seriously. Yeah, he ruined that by doing that. He ruined their relationship by. He was kind of putting on a front for a putting while. Putting on this front, yeah. Yeah, it's that's interesting to talk about because I do think that some guys think that way. Like, you know, if I act like a player or if I, 
uh, or if you are a player, if you show that off right now, is that going to impress this girl? Right. And if it's the if it's the one, usually it doesn't impress them. <laughs> yeah. The one doesn't want to see you with a bunch of girls, you know. Right. And feel sick at the realization that I ultimately choose for this to fall apart was filling up my pockets not enough. Did I lose my way and fall to my knees? It was only then that I realized I was barefoot to go back. So he's saying, like, I I realize now that I messed this up by choosing to look like I was doing well. And then he's like, um, was filling up my pockets not enough? Was me getting richer not enough? Mm -hmm. Was me having all this money not enough? Which relates to Tang. So, you know, it can relate to other songs in the album, which is pretty cool. Is he asking, was it enough to make him happy, or was it enough to make her happy? Right. That's a good question. That's a good question. That That's, yeah. It could be both. It could be both. And for us to interpret this barefoot line, I think we're just going to be reaching, I, I don't really know. But I think um, maybe he's saying, it was only then that I realized I was barefoot to go back, because he feels like, you know, if you're barefoot, your feet have no protection, so, you know, you can get hurt on your feet. So to go back, that's what that's the part that confuses me, is he's saying to go back, like, looking back on the memories. So for him to look back on the memories, it's just going to hurt him. Or is he saying to go back to, um, like, his lifestyle of going to all these different women and, you know, making all these friends that he can't remember their names? You know, was was he uh, was he barefoot to do that? Because it just hurt him in the end because he couldn't get with the person that he wants. Like, is he saying that he's barefoot now to go back to his lifestyle because this chick took off his shoes and now he he feels uh, unprotected? Like, he's gonna get hurt if he starts relationships with anybody else because he wants to. Be with this one person. Ah, that's sad. Dang. Goosebumps, that was so beautiful. Don't make fun of me, but the ending reminded me of Sims. <laughs> of Sims? Because the piano? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I used to play a lot of Sims. And there was a lot of piano. A lot of jazz. And <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why. I just... <laughs> Hold on, I, I gotta see who was on the production. But I'm sure that was Minnow playing all of that. Really? Because, dude, that's <laughs> insane, dude. So it says, composed by Minnow, King, Ukjin, and Diggy, and arranged by King, Ukjin, and Diggy. So um, definitely could have been them on the piano, but we have no idea, you know. So we can't assume whoever it was 
um, you know, could have been my own, could have been one of them. I love it. But yeah, that was a beautiful song. And I get why his tone changed at the end, because, you know, he's saying, like, if I caught you on accident, would you pick up? Like, you can pick up if you want, but then after that he says, but you know, you know, <laughs> but you know, you know. <laughs> But you know, you and I are not the same people that we used to be back then, so, like, it's not going to be the same anyways. Mm -hmm. So that's why he's holding on to those memories. Right. Of how they used to be. And him saying it's a hateful memory that I'm fond of, I think that's more of him beating himself up and being upset with himself because of the choices he made, because of how he was, his lifestyle was. Mm -hmm. During that time, he should have. He feels like he should have just dropped that lifestyle for her. Right, so he blames didn't. himself. That's why he's looking in the mirror, like, "What did I? You know, what have I done? You know, another fire track." <clears throat> Such a sad way to end it. But the piano was so beautiful at the end, man. I mean, yes. Throughout the entire song, it's beautiful, but like you know that little solo at the end. Yeah, they they make you really just was a sit nice in it. touch. Yeah.